This is the old lane running up to Lothorn or Lawthorn Nature Reserve, not far from Pearston. And the distance is Little Stain. These trees here are heavily laden with ivy, heterohelix, often regarded as being very harmful to trees. Ivy is clear and evergreen. It has root system underground as usual. It also has roots called adventitious roots that run from the trunk, if you like, onto the tree. Now these don't penetrate the bark. So don't actually cause the tree any real harm. Ivy is very important in providing cover for nesting birds, for on the ground providing cover things like toads, frogs, newts. Often is found growing over the ground to an extent that blocks out the other vegetation. Uh, at Spears Old School Grounds near B, there's an area there called the Ivy Palace, which for maybe up to a hundred years has been dominated on the ground by ivy. Ivy is none of these trees that has two phases of growth. It has an immature phase with the typical ivy leaf shape. And then it has a mature phase further up the tree where the flowers are. It's one of the last of the trees to flower and as such is a valuable supply of late summer, autumn nectar for insects such as wasps. There are a few legends associated with ivy, quite apart from the association with Christmas time. It was thought that uh, because of the greenness of the tree that the spirit of summer was contained within it. Also, ivy can develop some very thick in circumference trunks, actually big enough to be carved, and with uh, the idea of sympathetic magic, where by association that the ivy remains standing on a tree is supported by, that if you made a bowl out of ivy wood, and if you were to drink alcohol from it, you wouldn't get drunk. The ivy, if you like, was supporting you. There are examples of pubs, certainly in uh, places like Devon, where they still have either the lintel over the fire made of ivy, or they have a, an ivy goblet. Very distinctive flowers was developed into the well-known berries. There are various varieties of ivy ones that are not native. You sometimes find ones with extremely narrow leaves, still sort of spear-shaped or triangular-shaped. And there's one with very large leaves, which is the Persian ivy. You also find variegated versions of the native heterohelix, where they have different colours within the leaf.